You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Adorama TV iPad App Reviews. Well, we're talking about something that will help you remember almost anything. It's called Evernote. The nice thing is it works on your iPad, it'll work on your desktop computer, and even your iPhone, and you can synchronize everything between those, and there are two versions. One is free, and one that allows you to do a lot more is only five bucks a month, and you can get it for less than that if you have a year subscription. Well, Evernote stores documents, photos, and even voice memos. So let's say I have my little iPhone here and I want to take a new voice memo and I want to remember something specific. Well, I'll just go in here. It's recording. I'll say, hey, you're supposed to remember something specific like the number 12. Once I have that done, I'll hit save and that'll save on my iPhone. It'll upload it and automatically I can take that and sync it on my iPad. So let's take a closer look at Evernote for the iPad. When you open Evernote, you have this nice interface that shows you all of the different voice memos, notes, photo uh, notes, and anything that you've thrown into Evernote from any application, either on a desktop, iPad, iPhone, or other mobile device, will show up right here. So let me walk you through how each of these things work. Well, first of all, uh, it automatically syncs uh, notes that have been recorded on other devices. So we can look in here, and here's an untitled audio note. And when I open this, you will hear that it is the audio note. It's recording. I'll say, hey, you're supposed to remember something specific, like the number 12. Once I have that done, I'll hit... So that's the audio note that we made earlier when we were doing the opening for this video. And I can go in there and I can do some editing. So I can uh, hit this right here. There's a little uh, icon for a pen. And I can go in here and say, uh, this was a test. And just like that, it comes in. Then I can title this something else like, uh, let's say, Mark Talks. I think that'll be good. So Mark Talks. All right, so there it is. I'll save it. And now this is automatically going to update all of my libraries, all my notebooks on every single device I have. It uses Wi-Fi to do that. And so automatically, if I open this on any other device, then all this is going to be updated. Now let me show you something that's really interesting. So I went in and I, had a, a, I did a photo test here. So I had one of my photos that I took from my iPhone. And this is from one of my favorite places. It's a Vietnamese restaurant. It's called Saigon Pho and Seafood. And so I just took this picture of this restaurant here. Now I can go in here and I can terp, uh, ter, uh, type in search. And I'll type in something like Saigon. Now the nice thing is when I hit search, it's going to look through every single note that I have and look at this. It picks up Saigon from the menu. Now this is really significant because what that means is any photo that you take that has words will be cataloged and searchable. So we'll go in here and look at something else like seasonal. Now sometimes these don't work if they're uh, in cursive or they're sideways, so this may not work, but I think it will. So I'll type in seasonal here, hit search. It's going to look through every single note that I have, and sure enough, it's finding seasonal here. So this is really, really nice. It means that if you have some brainstorming session whiteboards, menu items, prescription drugs, whatever, anything you have to remember that has words, instead of typing all that stuff in, you can just take a picture of it, and then those words are automatically cataloged, and again, those are available to any device that's syncing with Evernote. It's really powerful. Now, of course, when we go back, I'll hit cancel. We'll go back to all of our notes. There are some other things that you can do to allow you to search. And the search capability is really important because when you start using this, you're going to have hundreds and hundreds of notes and photos and uh, all kinds of things in here. So if we go to this one right here, this is the one I recorded earlier. You can see right here, I don't know if you can read that, it says not tagged. And what that means is I haven't added any keyword tags, so I can hit this a little pin down there, and right here there is a line that I can put some tags in here. So I'll put in tests, and I'll put in um, something like audio, and then I'll say um, maybe mark, and then what those become, it's those become searchable words. And so when you're entering in your notes, you can uh, automatically tag those with different keynotes, and then later on, a month or two or a year or two years later, when you're trying to figure out, hey, where was that audio that I recorded that was a test, I can just go in here and I can type in test, and I'll type in audio, and watch what happens. It goes in search, and sure enough, there it is. Now the cool thing is I did this earlier, and there was another test note that I did, 
and it has test note there, and then there's another audio file that I put in there. So it automatically finds uh, any note that uh, corresponds to these keywords, which is really, really groovy. Okay, let's go ahead and look at some of the other things that you can do here. You can include photos into your notes. So down here, there's a new note icon, so I'll click that and it's going to ask me if I can use my current location. Now this is important because you can say OK and allow your current locations to be used and then what happens is all of the notes, the things that you talk about, are geotagged so you can actually look on a map to see where you entered some things in, which is really cool. Maybe you're scouting a location for a photo shoot or you had a great restaurant that you really liked, you want to remember where it is. So I'll say OK and now this new note is going to be geotagged so I can look at it on a map. So I'll go in here, I have some options. So first of all, on the iPad, there is a little audio microphone there, and it will go in here and allow me to record some different things. Um, if I don't wanna do that, I can go into this uh, right here and go into my photo album. So I'll go in there, I'll pick a photo, uh, one that I took in, let's say Paris, here is uh, the Eiffel Tower, it's a little bit crooked. So it saves that image clip there. I can go in here and type in some stuff. Uh, this is live. I'll do that. Okay, this is live, good. And then I can put in some bullets or whatever. And so I can put in all kinds of notes. I can put in audio files. I can do whatever I want. I'll title this and I'll say, uh, this is Adorama TV. And there you have it. Um, then I'll put in test for my tag. I can put all kinds of things in. You get the idea. You can put all kinds of things in there. Then I'll save it. And what this is going to do is it's gonna save it on the iPad and additionally it's going to put it on the Evernote server on the internet and so now anytime I open Evernote on any other device or my desktop that will be live and I can read it and search it and index it and do all the things that we talked about earlier. Okay let me explain some of the icons at the bottom here because these um, are really neat. So we have the trash so let's say we have a note that we don't like like this one here's a note that says buy milk okay that's not really significant I can hit this and I can move that to the trash. And again, it gets rid of it on this and all my devices. I have this little icon right down here. When I push that, it refreshes. So it brings all this in. And so it makes sure that anything that you have is refreshing from the internet. So everything is being pulled right now from the internet. This little uh, icon here is to edit any of the notes that I have here. I have this little satellite dish down here. When I push this, this gives me some interesting things. I can synchronize this uh, on demand. And so it'll synchronize with the internet and all my devices will be up to date. I can change my account type. Now there are two different account types. There's a free account, which means you get Evernote and all the services for free, or you can have a premium account. You can clear the cache. That's uh, something that stores all the images on your local machine. Um, and there are other things that you can do here. If I go over here to this plus icon, this is called the Evernote trunk. And the nice thing about this is this is where Evernote really shines because Evernote is built for plugins. And so you can add all kinds of things. You can add things for your mobile device, things that work on your desktop and the web. You can uh, add hardware that's specific to the Evernote system. There's different kinds of gear, different types of notebooks. So Evernote is really, really a powerful application for storing almost any type of document and allowing you to search those in the future so you don't forget anything. Well, that's Evernote for the iPad, an application that helps you organize and remember almost anything. Well, if you have an application for the iPad that you'd like me to take a look at, please send your suggestion to askmark at adorama.com. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store, located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.